my name is Siyang and today we're gonna do grade 5 lesson 2 and today lesson is a little bit harder than the last week's lesson because it involved the exponents and exponents it just means that how many times you're multiplying by a specific number so if you look at this it's a base so the formula is base to the power of number, which is just power. Base is one that is in the bottom, right? And power is one that you're raising to. So 10 is our base, but it indicates that we're multiplying the 10 twice. So it's written as 10 to the power of 2 is just means that we're multiplying 10 twice. And for this one, since we're multiplying the 10 by 1, it's just 10 times none because we're just multiplying 10, so the answer will be just 10. But there is specialty about raising the number, any number, any, like million, thousand, it doesn't matter. By 0 is always 1. So any number, any number to the raise of 0 is just 1. So with that being said, we're going to look at this one. So write each number in expanded form with exponents. And we're given the example that the number is 413. And it says 4 times 10 to the power of 2, which is just saying 400 by 4 times 100, right? Because this one is also 10 times 10. And this one is also 10 to the power of 2. Here we have 1 times just 10, just 110. And here we have 3 times 1 because any number to the power of 0 is just 1. So we get 400. And since they're connected with plus signs, we're adding and 10 plus 3, which is just 413, right? Okay, example 2. We have 224, and we're going to separate them, 2, 2, 4, but this is in 1 place, this is 10 place, and this is 100 place. We're going to start, always start from 100 place, the largest place, which is to the left, right? The very left, and here we have 100, which is just 200, right? This one is 200, plus, how are you going to write it? 20 plus 4, right? If you expand, right? Based on the location of the number. And here we have is just 2 times 100 plus 2 times 10 plus 4. So this one can be also written as 10, 10, right? So how many 10s do we see here? 1, 2. How many 10s here? 1. How many 10s here? zero right we don't see any 10 so how are the answer will be two times two okay let's write it this way two times 10 there's two tens parentheses plus two times there's one ten plus two i mean plus four but there's no ten so put zero. Okay, number five. Number five is 5,691. How are we going to expand into addition? 5,000 plus 600 plus 90 plus 1. In this one, we can say it's 5 times 1,000 plus 6 times 100 plus 9 times 10 plus 1 times just none, right? Just 1. So, this one, we have, we, we're looking at thousands, which means we're multiplying 10 times 10 times 10, plus, this one is just this one, and 6 times 10 times 10, plus 9 times 10, plus 1. So, how many fives do we see here? How many tens do we see here? Five times ten, we see three. Plus six times, we see two, right? One, two. And here, we only see one. 
So 9 times 1 to the 1 and plus 1 times 10 to the 0. Okay, so let's move on to this one. Write each number in standard form. Standard form is just number in number. And this one is opposite from what we did previously. And this, uh, this time, we're given the expanded form with the exponents. And we're writing it into simple form into just a number. So let's look at number one. We have three tens. So which means that one times one, two, three. 3, right? 1, 2, 3. And just simple rule, if you're multiplying 3, that means there are 3 zeros, right? 3 zeros. If you're multiplying by 5, there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. So, this is just 1,000, right? Because 1 times 1,000 is just 1,000. Okay. And let's move on to number three. So number three, 35 times 10 to the power of zero. What is 10 to the power of zero? There's no tens. So we're just not multiplying anything, which is just number by itself, right? So 35 times one is 35. Okay, number seven. So this time we have 5 times 10 times 10 plus 7 times 10, just 1, plus just 1, right? We're not multiplying anything, so just 1. So this one is 5 times 100, which is just 500, plus 7 times 10 is 70, plus just 1 is 571, 571. And number nine, we have zeros and zeros. What does this mean? We're just multiplying nothing. Nothing, right? So nine times one, just number by itself. You don't have to write this one either, right? Just nine plus two, which is 11. And complete each pattern. So for this one, we already, we already know that any number to the raise of zero is just one, right? It also counts as 1, right? And 1, there's just 1, 1, 1. And for 1 squared, there's 2 ones. But any just time, 1 times 1 is just also 1. This one, 1 times 1, which is also 1. Number 3. So before we look at doing this, let's look at this. So 10 to the power of 6, how many 6 are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How about 10 to the power of 7? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 6 zeros, 7 zeros. So this one also be 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will be our answer. Okay, number 4. So this one should be put in parentheses, and this means that if you have negative 1, and you're just multiplying by 1, because there's only 1, so this is just negative 1, right? But if negative times negative is always positive, even number of negatives makes positive, right? So this is just positive 1, but this time we have odd number of negatives which is 1, 2, 3. This is just negative 1. And we have even number again. Times negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Okay, so let's quickly go over our FRQ, which is solve each word problem. And number 1, if the base is 5 and the exponent is 3, what is the number? So base, I said, it's always in this form, and this one is base, and this one is exponent. So, it says, base is 5, and exponent is 3. So, this means 5 times 5 times 5, which is just, oh, what is the number? So, it's just 5, 5 to the power of 3. And 
you can see 125 too. In A, if the base is 2 and the exponent is double the base, what is exponent is the double the base? It's just base times 2, which is 2 times 2, which is 4. So this is 2 to the power of 4, and this is 16, the answer for number B. So thank you today too for your hard work, and I'll see you next week.